Warrior, welcome. Here are my three favorite routines to get me energetically connected with the positive day ahead. Let's begin by taking three deep breaths. It's our energetic bodies that are the conductors of all the other bodies, which is why we must place it on the highest priority list when we start each day. You can use this video daily as a regular morning practice, and as we begin, we want to create an intention for this practice. What is it that you want to gain from this morning practice? Maybe it's a deeper understanding. Maybe it's a sense of letting go. Whatever it may be, allow it to be at the forefront of this practice now. Let's begin. Tapping. Tapping is an alternative and more milder form of acupuncture. With acupuncture needles, they are placed in certain points in the human body to unclog stagnant energy in order to get the energy flowing smoothly again. With this form of tapping, we are focusing on a full body effect in order to generate an awakening within the energetic body. In order to get the most benefit from this form of tapping, you want to permit your emotions to arise as you tap. Some people may feel like crying, some may feel like yawning or even sweating. Whatever your body wants to do in order to begin releasing the stagnant energy that's currently unreleased, allow it to do that. Holding in your emotions will only compound the emotional problem over time. After tapping, you may feel awakening bodily sensations in the body, and this is excellent to be an optimal mind, body, and spirit. As we move on to swinging. Swinging is sometimes used as a warm-up exercise in Qigong. Not only does it allow for us to experience greater flexibility and therefore strengthening our trust in ourselves, swinging is meant to tap on the kidneys and adrenal gland areas in your lower backs for awakening. This awakening helps greatly with adrenal fatigue as well as helps with cleansing and detoxifying. I usually implement swinging for about a minute and a half, but if I find that I lose myself in this exercise, I allow myself to go for longer as I drift towards letting go completely. Notice how I'm just gently tapping my kidney areas. I'm just communicating here. I'm just saying, hey, it's time to wake up and it's time to detox, letting go, letting go. As we move on to combing, think of your hands as a comb and all we're looking to do here is to create flow within our energy fields that surround the human body. Since so much energy gets stagnant at the top of our heads due to the immense inner chatter that we're engaged in, we want to begin the day by moving this energy smoothly from the top all the way down to the bottom. I find that combing works even better after you've washed your hands with salt water in the morning, since salt rids you of accumulated negative energy held within the body and the energy field. As you work with the energy field through combing, recognize which parts of your body feel more tense over other parts. 
trust your intuition and simply feel out the answers rather than looking to overthink yourself to a definite conclusion. Warrior, I hope you've enjoyed these three powerful ways to kickstart your energy body in the morning. Make sure to comment below on your personal experiences and your future commitment to this practice. And I'll see you tomorrow because this can be done each and every day to awaken the energetic body. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you tomorrow.